This is what to watch on Wall Street for the week ahead. The majority of the companies in the S&P 500 have already released their earnings, so we only have a few more to go. The week begins with JD.com, Dillard's and Urban Outfitters showing us how they did, followed by Walmart, Home Depot and Exporting Goods on Tuesday. The midweek we hear from Lowe's, Target and Al Brands. Best Buy and Gap report on Thursday and we end the week with Foot Locker. The company taking the spotlight is Target. For the latest quarter, analysts are calling for 86 cents a share on revenue of about $17.5 billion. It looks like there's some silver lining in the retail industry. Target is expected to post a year-over-year -year growth in both profits and sales. So far, it's been putting its focus on Black Friday strategies. It recently announced that Black Friday promotions will be launched five days in advance, encouraging consumers to do more shopping. Here's why Target earnings are important. I think investors are going to be watching Target, especially because of the weak retail sales in general. Now, Target has beaten expectations since they've gotten their new CEO, Brian Cornell, and they really have all of the right initiatives going on right now with mobile, online, Star Wars merchandise, back to school. So I think we're looking for them to beat expectations despite the weak retail sales numbers. Let's turn to the economic calendar. We kick off the week with the Fed's Empire State Manufacturing Survey, then get the Housing Market Index and Treasury International Capital on Tuesday. Midweek, we get housing starts and the Federal Open Market Committee will issue its minutes. Towards the end of the week, we have jobless claims. For the latest financial news and updates from Wall Street, check backonthestreet.com throughout the week. I'm Eugene Lee in New York.